Thieves Guild. You can use a variety of features by connecting to the network. Do you want to connect? Oh, is this like the, uh, you can see what actions other players took to, like, maximize or see what was the most popular pick for a certain day? Uh, yeah, might as well. You could change this option at any time in the config menu. Holy crap. It's been a while since I've played an Atlas game. Amazing. Sure hope that didn't spoil anything. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Uh, okay. Let me adjust the volume first before I do anything. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Configurations. Yeah, this should be good. I just want to adjust the master volume down a bit. That's fine. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so welcome to Persona 5 Royal. My goodness. Um, I haven't uploaded to this channel for about three years now. <laughs> since that Skyrim episode in uh, 2019. Uh, I've been wanting to kind of get back to video making, but just been so busy school and then I got a job so uh, but I'm definitely gonna finish this series mainly because I really really want to um, I've re really been wanting to play this game for a really long time uh, after I played golden back in 2020 but that's unimportant uh, so yeah let's just get into this game I know nothing about this um, I know the original Persona 5 came out in 2016 uh, but I have not touched anything or of it, not the game. I have not consumed any form of like media spoilers. Nothing. Uh, I'm 100% blind to this, other than having played Golden. So maybe, no, I'm I'm pretty pretty certain most of the functions are returning, like the Persona system, like uh, uh, the gameplay loops are probably going to be the same. So yeah, but uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to this. I hope the opening didn't spoil anything, because. Uh, if Yakuza openings have told me anything, uh, they can definitely uh, contain elements that you shouldn't consume prior to actually witnessing them in the game. But yeah, enough rambling. Let's start a new game. Persona 5 Royal allows for you to experience the game with English or Japanese voices. The interesting thing about Persona games is that I actually prefer playing them with uh, English uh, English voices, um, which is interesting because I've played a variety of JRPGs. Like I've played the Tales games, I've played uh, Bandai's um, independent IPs, 
I've played um, all the Yakuza games, and besides, uh, no, even with Like a Dragon, which gives you the option to choose English, I've always played them all with Japanese because they just sound more organic, but um, in Golden, the English voices were really well done, so I'm gonna take a risk here and go with the English voices, and yeah, I think, I think they'll be alright, yeah. And it could be changed later in the config menu, so yeah, that's fine. We're good. This story is a work of fiction. Oh, oh, I need to press A, okay. Similarities between characters or events to persons living or dead in your world are purely coincidental. I think a similar message was, um, uh, was like in Golden as well, because I think since this is not really realistic to real life, but since this is like an, ur an urban setting of a game, uh, some people I can, I guess, take these events or uh, activities in the game like out of context. So I think this is also kind of to make sure that people understand that this is a game, <laughs> don't take it seriously. Only those who have agreed to the above have the privilege of partaking in this game. Right. Oh wow, you act- so it's actually like a contractual agreement? What happens if I say I don't agree? I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna go with the I agree. <laughs> the contract has been sealed. Oh well, he said it. <laughs> the world is not as it should be. It's filled with distortion, and ruin can no longer be avoided. Yeah, I'd say so. Climate change, uh, Twitter, uh, what else, you know? Those who oppose fate and desire change. From time to time, they were referred to as tricksters. You are the trickster. Now is the time to rise against the abyss of distortion. Okay, so this is probably referring to, like, the Arcana, I guess, because it's going to play this a same type of theme, like in Golden, where you're kind of like this wind of change, almost, type of person, where you're kind of thrust into this foreign environment, and then you kind of have an impact on everybody's lives, and you form your, uh, you form your bonds with your friends and such. I mean, I'm all for that, so. But they're going to use the term trickster this time. New York? Oh no, this is Vegas. Oh man, I love these CG cutscenes. They're so good. Oh, is this like a like a heist? Is that me? <laughs> Is that me? No, that, no that, that person's the main character. That's me right there. Yeah, no, that woman's me, actually. Actually, that man's me. <laughs> There's someone here. Oh shit, it's Black Monday. If you played Yakuza, you, you get that reference. That's me. Hey, up there. He's here. Moving immediately. You know, I'm wearing all black. Is there a reason I'm purposefully showing myself? Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Boyish voice. This is our only chance. This is our only chance. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa wait. Okay, so the options on the bottom right are to forward the conversation, to auto, and to log. Okay, got it. Girl's voice. We'll retrieve the briefcase on our end. They're trying really hard to blur out these people's uh, avatars, but I can tell these are the these are the characters from the um, uh, from the opening cinematic. Okay. Okay. So this is this is a flash forward then. Like this has to be a flash forward. Suspects not confirmed. Hold your position. Who's that? Don't worry about us. Just concentrate on getting away. Okay. Oh my god, this is... 
This is incredible. Jump. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna wait till they stop talking. This happens because you have no sense for aesthetics. Nobody asked you, Inari. Oh, that's cool. Like you, you can see all the all the people downstairs, and like the, it's like they're talking, and you can see the like the chatter. That's so cool. Wow, the aesthetic is incredible. Like look 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 on the edge of the corners. It's like you're in this um, it's like you're in a dream almost. And like when I move, there's like paint. I wonder what this represents. Okay. Uh, where am I going? This way. Okay. Wow. This reminds me a lot of uh, when I played Nier Automata, where like uh, you just go from platform to platform and it changes your uh, your perspective. Oh shit! Men in black. But what if I want to go this way? Oh wait. No worries. I can guide you all. Are they there? Oh, they're gone. Look, <laughs> the men in black, they're gone. <laughs> Alright, enough fooling around. Oh my god, this is so cool. You can see them all down there. Alright. Oh my god, what the heck? Oh wait, those are those have to be shadows. Down, Joker. <laughs> we in the TV world? Did I just rip that guy's face off? Oh, okay. oh yeah, that's definitely a shadow. Oh, combat. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Rush? Gun. <laughs> uh, I. What? Okay, persona. persona. Okay, there's the persona. So this is physical. This is curse. Okay, this is new. Hold on. Uh, guard item. Oh my god, it's the same items like in Golden. <laughs> All right. This will make things easier to understand. And then there's attack. Okay, I want to try gun. That's new. Oh, it, I can... Oh. oh, wow, so... Gun is like... That's a new feature. Oh, I'm out of bullets. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's try Persona. Heavy curse damage. Brave Blade. Ooh. Oh my god, that's such a smooth animation. Holy crap, I'm loving that that UI style. Joker behind you! Go through that door! What door? Oh. Wait, I wanna fight them. Okay, fine. Alright. Wow, this is quite the introduction sequence. I'm just I'm overwhelmed. I'm just trying to uh Weird reading. Oh, cool, we got a mini map. So now we're in the what? The boiler room? What does it say? Success. Everyone's enemy. Winners take all. Black and white. Winner. Double faced. Oh, okay. Interesting. I mean, this is definitely a flash forward sequence, so I wonder what this represents later. We got away from a bunch of these guys in black, but there's still loads of them. Oh. The intruder simply can't be found. Yeah, what do you mean? I'm right here. I like how he automatically crouches. That's cool. Where'd they go? Scum. <laughs> nice. Okay. Where are you? Oh, that's so cool. Where'd they go, damn it? 
<laughs> oh, that's neat. Oh shoot, there's one right there. What? Up ahead, stop. This is bad. Hide, Joker. You'll never get away if you just keep fighting. Hide in the shadows and sneak past when you see an opening. Oh? Oh, that is cool. Hey, are you sure he came in this way? Understood. I will continue the search. Now's your chance. Make a run for it. Uh, how do I exit? B? Okay. Oh, Alright, this is cool. Ugh, how many of them are there? Hmm. Everything okay? The security level might rise if you take too much time. I know, I know. I'm looking for another route. Just hang on. Oh, perfect timing. Joker, look up. Can you use that thing and just fly over there? What? Oh, I have like a Sekido um, grapple hook? Oh, nice. Oh, that is smooth. Alright, go straight from there. My goodness, this game is so extra. <laughs> and I love it. Joker, stop! What? What? It's an enemy right near you. Is it like above me? Oh, or not. Okay. Even you can't take on this many. Huh? Joker, that weird reading from earlier is closing in on you too. Okay. I'm dead. Oh, that's the girl from the I'll cinematic. This right now. You know, she could have thrown that sword at any of them, instead of, like, close shaving me. <laughs> okay, legs. Oh, I was like, she doesn't have her sword, what is she gonna use? Is that a shotgun? What? My Aren't weak self relied on you so much. What? That ends today. Oh my goodness. Let's do this, senpai. Huh? Uh. Okay. Garuda. Oh my gosh. It's been a while since we last fought side by side. But this time, it's my turn to come to your aid, senpai. Now let's win this. All right. Oh nice, I got my ammo back. Um I remember this I remember this guy. You're a persona, yeah. Well actually no, all shadows are personas, now I think about it, but yeah. Alright, well Yeah. Oh I can't kill them with a gun? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Wait, what? Hold up? What the fuck? Holy shit. I <laughs> What? I think that's the last of them. <laughs> okay, I don't even know how to react to that sequence there because it all happened within like 10 seconds. I have no <laughs> I have no idea what to even say, but okay. For now, let's just continue. Um I think that's the last of them. I genuinely have no clue what just happened, but I take it you're okay? <laughs> this person is me, literally. <laughs> Too many flashing elements on the screen. Wait, bad news. Enemy backups headed your way. You need to book it right now. Okay. Please go. I'm going to make it harder for them to track you down. Thanks, man. Okay, so she's clearly not part of like our group, I guess, because the other people who who have been talking to me have like no idea who she is. So this is interesting. You still have something you need to do as a phantom thief, right? Phantom thief? Then I won't stop you. Huh? What the hell am I doing here anyways? Who am I? What am I? <laughs> Where am I going? Since I'm not 
a member of the Phantom Thieves. I'm in no position to interfere. Oh, okay, yeah. So I was correct. She's not one of us. Whatever a Phantom Thief is. However, please don't forget the promise we made, okay? Is she... Okay. I didn't know people could jump that high. She doesn't have one of those grapple hooks, right? I, or I didn't see her have one. Joker, you need to get out of there. Go, go, go. Okay, I'm going. And I, I love the MC's right, outfit. Let's do it. Go up the stairs at the end of the path. Just a little more. So hang in there. Gosh. Man, I love these environments. It's crazy. How do they not Stop see me? Find them and kill them all. Like, I'm right next to their camera room. How is there not a camera by the camera room around that perimeter? Oh, they know I'm here though, I see. Oh, I'm back in the lobby. The exit should be up ahead. You're there. That's just how it is. After that commotion, the bottom floor is completely closed off. Hey, can you make it? Over there! There's no way to run! Just shoot! Just shoot! Kill him! <laughs> I've always like found that interesting in like movies or any sort of media. It's like you're pointing a gun at him. Shoot him! See ya! Huh? Um. Huh, what a show off. But aren't I dead though when I land? So reckless, you know that? Or at least my legs. Okay. Mild uh, neck injury. Oh shit. Enemies here? What's wrong? These readings. It can't be. What happened? Oh my gosh. Joker, can you handle this? Joker. Oh no. Capture him. Let's go. Go go. go. Busted. <laughs> Get on the ground. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh, interesting. The scenery changed. I'm outside of the sh uh, the shadow world. Expect to find some kid. You have your teammate to thank for this. Oh. You were sold out. Did that girl in red sell me out? Got to be here. She's not one of us. This is police brutality. I demand a lawyer. <laughs> wow, what an intro sequence, though. Guess the drug was too strong. Wake him up. Damn, they beat me up bad. No dozing off. You still don't get it, do you? Give it up! Ooh. Oh my goodness, that sound. Come on, cooperate. What? You want another shot? Are they drugging me too? Holy shit. These aren't cops, then. Uh, this is like. What about the camera? It's like you secret police. It can be used as video evidence. Uh, of course not. What do you mean? Uh, probably best to stay silent, though. Yeah, cause like when you're in these crisis situations, saying nothing is best, especially when you're dealing with emotionally charged people like these people. You're not gonna win. My question. Answer. Oof, that's rough. But yeah, staying staying silent is the best uh, course of action. Of justice, blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Huh? Defamation? Manslaughter too? Yeah. Talk about the works. Wait a minute. Defamation against who? Think that all those crimes were led by a punk like this. By me. And you seem to be enjoying every second of it. My. 
feel like I'm in pain more like. <laughs> I was enjoying it. Everything is hazy. I can't remember. Oh, difficulty choice. Okay. Merciless. Most difficult setting. Tailored just for those seeking a ruthlessly brutal challenge. This choice will not affect the story. Choice will not affect the story. Okay, so nothing affects the story. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> you can't change the difficulty after going on safe. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, so I'm actually going to go with easy. Uh, I'm not someone who plays games on hard mode. If you give me an artificial setting, I'm just going to play it on the easiest. I was going to do safe, but uh, I mean, like, I feel like safe is kind of like the brain dead option. So I'm just going to go with easy because, um, well, to be fair, I'm not really going to have that much time to grind or play as often. So I think this will be the best way I can, like, experience as much content without being artificially gated when uh, I have to grind or fight bosses. So we'll go with that. And if it's too easy, I can just change it to normal later. Do you wish to begin the game with easy? Yes. You should know your place. I mean, I'm on the ground. I must have like pissed off someone really bad though to have been getting this treatment. Sign here. It's a confession under your name. Ooh. Okay, this is a really tough spot now, because this is clearly blackmail, then. Or like, for me, in this case. Uh, I don't have a choice, though. <laughs> I mean, they did uncuff me, but, uh... If it's anything like the protagonist in, uh... Golden, you're not really strong outside the shadow world. Don't out of here in one piece. We are going to make you understand. Understand what? Take full responsibility for their actions. What responsibility? <laughs> you gave me a flash forward. I know nothing. I have amnesia. Save me. Okay. We get to sign my actual name. Oh, I get to name my protect. Oh, wow. This is really stylish. Like, they're giving you all the, um all the customizable like beginning options at this time okay just give me a second to find a name okay I think I'll go with that Arashi Akiyama I'm just going to be calling him MC during this. This It's just my fan and name for him. I think this is a good name for him because Arashi means storm. And Persona protagonists are kind of like storms in people's life, you know? They kind of just make a whole big mess out of everything. At least what Golden was, basically. And uh, Akiyama, well, this game seems to be mostly black and red themed, so if you played Yakuza... Uh, Akiyama is a pretty damn cool character. Uh, his writing is dog shit, by the way, but um, he's a cool character nonetheless. So, I think I'll go with that name for now. <laughs> Let me re rewrite my name real quick. I'll go with that. Oh. Excuse me, but this area is off. Who's this? I'm Nijima from the public prosecutor's office. Nijima. Okay, well this person is definitely important because she has an avatar. I like her hair. The prosecutor's office? What business do you have here? Oh wow, I really like her hair clip too. It's like four, no, five diamonds. Yeah, it's nice. Just let me through. It's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. I'm the suspect. And I'm the victim. Nijima-san, I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Besides... Are you Prosecutor Sai Nijima? Sai Nijima. Okay, we have a full name. I just got off the phone with your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. Damn, okay. So, like... She... 
He's like in a completely different department from these people then. Hmm, I thought I ordered you to stand by. SIU director's voice. All is SIU. <laughs> I'm responsible for this case, yet I'm not even being allowed an interrogation. Just want to point out the uh, the dialogue style is so cool too. Like uh, the name profile, like the middle letters are all have like this, um, like this cool font where like it's it's encased in like a black box. It's really cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody noticed this or this already, but just want to point it out. Because I knew you'd bring it up. Okay. I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself. Confirm what? This is my case. Uh, good luck to you then. I won't be expecting much though. Ah, prosecutor, I forgot to mention something important. Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with them for long. <sighs> oh, they're really trying to get rid of her. It's for your own sake. His methods are unknown, after all. We don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak with him. I see. His methods are unknown. Okay. I mean, I, I can't infer anything. Like, <laughs> the, the, game, the game in like the past 20 minutes has just thrown so many different systems and like uh, episodic events at me. I have no idea how to even... How to even process any of this, but I am, I'm loving it. I understand. Do you though? <laughs> and she comes in here. All right, I got ten minutes. <laughs> I didn't expect it'd be you. Oh, okay. So she knows me. You'll be answering my questions this time. All right. <sighs> Those bastards. They gave me the booster shot for COVID without my consent. You bastards. Can you hear me? It seems you've been through a lot. Yeah, my arm's pretty sore. They gave me the Moderna shot instead of the Pfizer. Almost anything can happen here. And I can't stop them. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if this is like police or government or secret police. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. Or who I am. That's why I need you to answer me honestly. I don't have much time either. Okay. What was your objective? Why did you cause such a major incident? I'd like to know that too. I didn't think it was a prank from the get-go, but I couldn't assemble a case for prosecution. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I jump in TVs. It's because I couldn't figure out the method behind it. Right. Oh, oh nice. This is cool. We get like a portrait of the character and then our options. Of course you couldn't. Why do you want to know? Okay, well this person clearly knows us, so... Hmm. I, I feel like we should trust her, mainly because the, the people outside, like the, the detectives, they want her out of here. So she might be on our side. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Why do you want to know? Yeah, let's prod for information first. This isn't an issue of whether or not it can be used in court. I need to know. This is my case, after all. Yeah, but why is your case so important? It seems you're coherent. Yeah, drugs kicking in. I might pass out in about two minutes. Make it quick. When and where did you find out about that world? That world. Okay, so she's definitely talking about the shadow world. How is it even possible to steal another's heart? What? We talking about fucking open heart surgery here? You know, like, uh... Like, transplants? No? Now, tell me your account of everything. I'm pretty sure what she just said was like a metaphorical sense. Because this game does play a lot on symbolism. Or no, no, these games play a lot on symbolism, so, yeah. Start from the very beginning. Okay. Now it's gonna flash back. Okay. Here we go. It all started back in March 
Oh, this is the Velvet Room theme. You are held captive. Yeah, no shit. A prisoner of fate to a future that has been sealed in advance. This is truly an unjust game. Your chances of winning are almost none. Nah, that's not actually true because uh, I set the difficulty to easy, so I mean, you're a fucking liar. But if my voice is reaching you, there may yet be a possibility open to you. I mean, somehow it's reaching me. Like, are, are we using like Bluetooth down here or something? Like, it, it, this seems like a government facility, like below ground, so this must be some like new type of tech or whatever, because your voice is strangely coherent. Overcome this game and saving the world are two vastly different things. Let's uh, let's start with the game first, maybe. The key to victory lies within the memories of your bonds, the truth that you and your friends grasped. Okay. It all began that day when the game was started half a year ago. Half a year ago. Okay. So. Six months have led up to this climax, I guess, in which I'm in prison now. Okay, that's good to know. For the sake of your world's future, as well as your own, you must remember. What must I remember? Just tell me, game. <laughs> but that would ruin the six months of flashbacks now, right? Would you like to save your progress? Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, that's this is cool. So how many save slots do I have? 16. Alright. Yeah, I do know that Persona game... Actually, no, most JRPGs have very, very long prologues, and that's not really everybody's cup of tea. Um, I've played so many different JRPGs over my life. Um, I'm kind of tone deaf to it, really. Like, I don't mind if games have a slow start or, or just are slow in general. Most of the time, the story is kind of what grabs you, so... Yeah, I'll just save here and uh, I'll keep going. Um, I'm going to make these episodes a lot longer, mainly because I'm probably not going to have that much time to record. So at best, I'll try probably just try to pop out like one hour episodes. And I mean, these types of uh, gameplay are good for second monitor, like casual watching. So if this fits the need, then hey, I'm all here for it. Let us continue. Okay, so this is six months ago now. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for riding with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be arriving shortly at Yaso Inaba. <laughs> it's like Persona 4, you know, it starts on the train and you, and you get off. Oh no, shit! Okay. Oh my gosh, I skipped the cutscene. I didn't mean to skip the cutscene. Alright, if you're ever confused about what to do or where to go next, look to the upper right corner of the screen to view various hints. Okay. Can I view that cutscene real quick? Uh, I can't even open my menu. Oh, I can. Okay. Um... Yeah, hold on. I'm just gonna load this real quick so I can view the cutscene. Yeah. Thankfully, I saved right before the cutscene. Deja vu. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for riding with us today. We will be arriving in Shibuya shortly. Shibuya, okay. Please transfer here for all subway lines. So this game is in Shibuya. Okay. Oh shit. Crime in my city? No shot. Wait, what? I literally just like tapped the guy on the shoulder. Damn brat! I'll sue! Wait. <laughs> that voice. That's Zhong Li's actor, isn't it? Can I stop skipping cutscenes? Okay, this time I'm pressing the right button, but yeah, that's definitely Zhong Li's actor. He also does uh, Nazim's voice in Skyrim. Which is basically most like of the generic NPCs in Skyrim, so yeah. But uh, damn. Okay, so 
<laughs> His voice actor is everywhere, I swear. And then they arrested me, okay. Wait, but that's not even assault though, because... That guy was trying to... Ah, that's why MC... That's why you, you always should conform to the bystander effect. Don't do anything. Be a sheep. Because then you get arrested. A mental shutdown? It's the truth! To a person, though? That's gotta be a joke. You really love all that occult stuff, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I tell that to uh, Yasahiro from Danganronpa. Oh, I'm loving the scenery, though. So Shibuya is a is an urban city compared to Inaba, which was a rural countryside. So this would be quite a quite a shift. I wonder how the game's going to tackle the instances. I mean, I, I love big cities like this. I, I'm I'm a city boy, so yeah. Oh, CG CG walking people. Okay. What the hell is that? There's malware. <laughs> I get the feeling that's what's going on. <laughs> it's a virus. Huh? Oh gosh. Oh nice. I need an app like that. I can just turn on that app, stop time, take a nap at work, and then resume it eight hours later. Easy. Oh shit. Holy crap. What? That's me? Huh? Is that like my shadow self? I had like the yellow eyes, so it might be like my shadow self. Hmm. <laughs> and deleted. Okay. Okay, see? We did it right this time. We did it right. Okay, I'm so glad I went back and watched the cutscene though, because that's a lot of continuity I would have missed if I uh, skipped that. Okay, we read about that already. Okay. So I need to head to my new logging, exit the subway station. Alright, I'm going to spend a lot of time just kind of like... interacting with stuff, because oh my gosh. Um, I love urban sceneries like this, like I loved Kamurocho. I played all the Yakuza games, I platinumed all of them. Like, I just loved the the setting and scenery, so... First, like, this scenery is already... and an environment is already giving me so much, um... So much, like, joy already. But, uh, let's see. Examine the sign, okay. This is Yongenjaya Station. Okay, and I can ride the train? I don't have a reason to take the train right now, I should leave the station. Okay. Everyone here is like a generic NPC. <laughs> Look at these men though. <laughs> Look at their posture. Oh my goodness. That'll be me in 40 years though, so I shouldn't really laugh. Uh, go to the back streets. I can go to the back streets, okay. Alright. There's a police officer there. Starting today, Sojiro Sakura will be taking care of me. Okay. His house should be in the back streets of this residential area. Alright. Rotating the camera. If you use the right bumper, you will be able to rotate the camera. If you press B, you can bring the camera back to a steve position. Got it. Got it. Okay. Talking to people. All sorts of people live in the city. Try listening to their conversation or press A to talk to them. You might learn something new. I don't need to learn anything new because I am omnipotent. Secondhand shop, okay. The store owner isn't here right now. There's a sign that reads, on break. It looks like this place also handles electronics. It might be able to I might be able to find, to buy stuff here for cheap. There's a sale. Everything's on sale by the looks of it. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. I have a mini-map here. All right. So I came from here, which was the subway, right? Yeah. Is the station just past here? I need to head to Sojiro's house. Okay. 
There is a bunch of icons on this place. The police are so lazy, they're practically stealing our taxes. Yeah, man. Um. Whoa. Oh, I can scare the cat away. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> All right. I can go. Oh, I can go back here. Okay. Examine bathhouse. It's a nice and quaint bathhouse. The pleasant smell of soap wafts this way. Okay. Well, that's definitely going to be a stat parameter level up later. Uh, examine dryer. There are clothes spinning inside. Very astute observation, MC. All right. So there's a bathhouse and laundry. Uh, what else do we have? Talk to the old man. Hmm. Did you want to listen in? With the economy in a slump and the population aging, is there a future for the new generation? That's what I ask myself with this housing crisis, but, uh, hey, I'm too ignorant to give a fuck about it. Hmm? Don't give me this next generation of malarkey. You're just ganging up on us old folks. <laughs> True, old man. <laughs> What's this, graffiti? There's another cat. Can't scare this one away. And what's over here? Nothing over here. The scenery is cool though. Oh, and this goes back to Yonganjaya? Okay. Alright, so there's several subway station entrances, which makes sense, yeah. Nothing over here? Okay. Also, I probably haven't been talking about it a lot, but this music track is amazing too. The smell of alcohol wafts through the area. Okay, so we got a bathhouse on one side and then an alcohol house on the other side. Yeah. What's this? Dining bar. I don't see anyone in here. <laughs> okay. Um, what about this area? Old cafe. I can see inside the store through the glass. There aren't too many customers. Okay. Le Blanc. Coffee and curry. Oh god, reminds me when I used to play League of Legends. Oh shit, what did I? Okay. Okay, so that's like my map. Got it. Uh, I went this way, yes. Yeah, so let's go this way. Tobacco. Aren't I a bit too young? <laughs> I don't see the store owner. I wonder if this place is even open right now. No. Bending machine. I'm not thirsty right now. Well, I am. Give me a second. Water break. Always stay hydrated. That's how you live long, instead of being like that old man on the parking bench. Batting cages, oh, okay. Well, I am a master at these. I played them in all the Yakuza games. I am a certified pro. There are actually batting cages in a place like this. Um, yeah, I think it might be a thing in like Japan, like pretty popular baseball, because uh, there's no batting cages where I live. Uh, I mean, not not that I would know. I barely get out. Supermarket. I can feel the chilly air flowing out from inside the store. Ah, uh, supermarkets. Exactly. Okay, what's here? If I keep going this way, I feel like I'd end up somewhere completely different. <laughs> Me whenever I'm out, because I barely go out, besides work. Old apartment. I don't see the name Sakura on the mailbox. This doesn't seem to be the right place. Yeah, it definitely isn't. Hmm? Oh. Wait, let me hide. There we go. Listen. Oh, stealth-like. I'm just chilling here. Was there another, um, a ac -si I see a policeman over there. Oh, he's just watching to make sure everyone's safe. <laughs> Gentle-looking mother. It'd be scary if something like that happened again, though. Let's hurry home. Yeah, that's right. You don't want to get caught by a Jack the Ripper or something. Oh, it's his house. There we go. The nameplate here says Sakura. It looks like this might be Sojiro Sakura's house. Ring ding ding. Roscoe's chicken and waffles. No? Okay. Even after ringing the doorbell, it doesn't look like anyone will answer the door. Maybe he's gone out. I'm gonna like bust no in. Home. Oh. Looks like no one's home. Oh yeah, 
Sakura-san's usually at his cafe around this time. Well, LeBlanc's in the back alley, so I should make my other deliveries first. Oh, so he works at LeBlanc. Oh, the, the cafe I just passed. Okay. Why are there cats everywhere, too? Like, are stray cats a thing in Japan? <laughs> or maybe it's just, like, the theme in this alley. I don't know. Hmm. Next, I need to take this package, too. Where are you going, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll take that off your hands. Is it a is it a Hatsune Miku anime figure? I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm still waiting for my Genshin Impact figures to arrive. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I ordered the uh, Ketching Ganyu and Mona one, so there goes my Christmas money. Uh, anyways, there's a re residential area up ahead. I should turn back and look for a cafe named LeBlanc. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he's just saying the same thing. Alrighty, let us head back then. And what's this way? Residential area up ahead. I should turn back and look for the cafe called Le Blanc. Alright then. Is there a first person mode? Like, um... There's a log. Okay. Yeah, but no, I don't, I don't think there's a first person. Orthopedic clinic. Oh, okay. It's called Kudubushi. But the place I'm looking for is called LeBlanc. Yes, two very different things. And there's like, there's like what, a screening place here? A theater. It's pitch black inside. I wonder if this place has been closed down. Uh, cinema, I mean. Yeah. All right, what do you have to say, sick man? Uh, what'll I do? I'm feeling under the weather, but I've got an important meeting tomorrow. I thought I'd give this place a shot, but they said they were closed for the day. And it's still so early, I just can't believe it. Maybe I should go in and ask again. Oh, the uh, orthopedic clinic? Yeah, it's closed. Shit out of luck, buddy. Alright, this is more of a residential area. And what's up here? Takemi Medical Clinic. Oh no, he's talking about this place. Never mind. This place looks like it's a clinic now. Though I need to find a cafe called LeBlanc. He's like, yeah, I, I, I gotta find LeBlanc. You know, I just I gotta, I gotta find that place, you know? Unfriendly officer. What was that? Where is LeBlanc? Yeah, <laughs> why not? LeBlanc? Oh right, that cafe. It's in an alley past the tobacco shop here. Well, that's not so unfriendly. <laughs> okay. Maybe he's like a dick if I chose the other option. Yeah. Okay, I think we fully explored this place. No one has been taking responsibility. It's a waste of time to dwell on it. Lady, what are you talking about? Okay. Alright, enough fooling around though. We're at LeBlanc. Here we go. It looks like this place is LeBlanc. Yeah, I wonder what gave it away. I'll go inside. Also, note the date. It is April 9th. Okay. Nice place. Bus was driven down an opposing lane with its customers still in it. Jeez, that... That is... That is really scary if that were ever to happen. I, I'm someone who takes the, um, not just the bus, but the SkyTrain to work. Um, and if that ever happened, oh my goodness, like, that would definitely be one of the scariest things that could ever happen to me. Yeah. The citizens can't live in peace if this keeps up. I'm already personally someone who doesn't like, um, just being in vehicles in the first place. Like, I, I hate... I hate, like, having, if I had to drive, I, I don't drive, but if I had to drive, like, it, I just don't like it. And I don't like being in planes either, and I don't like being in places where I can't control my body. Like, so, these type of events are just, oh my gosh, just crazy if I had to ever encounter one. Thankfully, I haven't. Oh, how frightening. Yes, very. What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? <laughs> Jeez, what are our tax dollars going towards? My goodness, we need to pay for better transit systems. And down is uh, the name of a shellfish used in pearl farming. Oh my gosh, <laughs> is, is he playing a, a word puzzle in the magazine? Oh my goodness. Back in the day, I remember when those, I, I used to like pick up those things um, from like the free newspaper place outside my, like, not outside my house, but like, uh, there, there was a place and I was, I would just like look at them every now and then. Now, like those newspaper, uh, like 
deposits just don't exist anymore because everybody just consumes all their media online like blog posts and forums now it's just it's the way of the future it's changed yeah oh right and you must be an important person yogan well you must be uh uh sojiro sojiro sakura right because he has an avatar they did say that was today Oh, that was today. Okay. Well, we'll be going now. The payment's on the table. Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. Y you probably shouldn't say that shit. <laughs> um, I mean, true. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I guess this is like a really skeptical, um, society here because there's just lots of accidents recently yeah i guess it's kind of like in uh golden 2 where they, they hint at stuff where it's like oh you know the fog the fog i can't see anything <laughs> yeah every time it rains you know it's always so gloomy or whatever right so like this is a bit of like the foreshadowing most likely a what now yeah man me too <laughs> don't say that shit <laughs> there's been a string of those rampage accidents you know I just hope that none happen around here. Yes, or I'd have to find somewhere else to get my coffee. And you only offer it for a buck fifty. So, it's extremely good for my retirement savings. It's none of my concern. Yeah, it's exactly. <laughs> when you work in these, when you work in these uh, food business, you know, not paid to give a fuck. <laughs> well, see you next time. Four hours for just a single cup of joe. My goodness, you are the pinnacle of customer service. And that's from someone like me who uh, works in hospitality and tourism. So, you're the guy. Oh yeah, right, I forgot. Uh, that's what I named my character. <laughs> so, your MC. Is Sakura-san here? Please take care of me. Oh yeah. In in Japan, like they kind of say that. That's kind of like a way of saying, um, like, um, thank you for having me, or, or like, thanks for inviting me. Basically, uh, I've heard that some people in North America find this weird because it's kind of like, uh, you know, like it's just out of con it can be taken out of context. But yeah, uh, I don't see anything wrong with this. Yeah, but let's be sarcastic, <laughs> just because we actually don't know for sure it's him. So yeah, yeah. I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be in my custody over the next year. What's with that smug look you're giving me? With the raised eyebrow? Okay. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up. But you're the one. I don't think I look that unruly. I mean, what the fuck did I do? Like, isn't this a flash back? Oh, wait, but I did push the guy, right? And, like, he sued me or whatever, so... Do, like, I have a... Do I have a criminal record? Maybe. Have you been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other and... Ah, yes. The illusionary parents that the Persona protagonists have, but, you know, you never see them. <laughs> yeah. Well, not that that matters. Follow me. All right. This is a cool place he's got. Oh my gosh. This is your room. Do you, uh, do you dust often? Clearly not. My goodness, I, as someone with allergies, I could not live here. They did a really good job with the graphics though, my goodness, like, I can see the pores of the dust, like, the, like, the lines of the dust. I don't know if it'll render well on YouTube, but, my goodness, <laughs> I would just die here. Like, I could not breathe. I'll at least give you sheets for your bed. Aw, oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. You look like you want to say something. I do. Um, it's big. Honestly, it is big. Um, I live in a very small room um, in my parents' house. So if I had a room like that, I could do a lot with that. <laughs> like I could have several desks. I could have, um, <laughs> I collect anime figures too. So I would just clutter, <laughs> clutter the walls or like have some tables and just fill them with anime figures. But yeah. I mean, it's big. 
I think that's better than saying it's cluttered, you know? Don't want to piss him off. <laughs> it's on you to clean up the rest. Oh yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind cleaning at all, like, uh, I maintenance my room all the time, so... Cleaning this big of a room and it's mine? <sighs> yeah. I wouldn't mind at all. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. Oh, so I live here in the shop and he goes back to his house, okay. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. Throw me out. Oh shit. <laughs> Can't be a good boy. Now then. I got the gist of your situation. Right. You protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her. He got injured, then sued you, right? Okay. So, we now have it in, in verbatim. So, yeah. So we protected some woman who we don't have the name of from a man who we don't know the name of. <laughs> he got injured and he sued us, yeah. Which is interesting because he, like, we protected the woman but were in trouble. Like, there's, naturally there's a, there's a paradox in there. Because like, why are we the one at fault? And even the police that was there, right, didn't, wouldn't the woman have testified in our defense saying that we helped her, right? So, there seems to be something fishy going on already as to why we're in this situation in the first place. So, this will be interesting. Yeah, I'll keep this in mind. That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? What Sojido is saying is unfortunately true. Uh, bystander effect is heavily ingrained in society regardless of culture so sometimes eh, doing nothing is more beneficial for one's self-preservation than trying to be a hero but um did i do the right thing absolutely yeah i mean calling the authorities i could have done that but well it was late at night and i don't think there was anyone else there so yeah but i thought the context really matters much <laughs> in this situation and now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. I was expelled? <laughs> okay. Got a criminal record and I was expelled from my high school. So what, I was transferred here to the city? The courts ordered you to transfer uh. and move out here, which your parents also approved. Okay, okay. So it's kind of like uh, in Golden where, well, in Golden you didn't get expelled, you just transferred schools. They made it very, very brief where it was like, oh yeah, he's moving away, guys. And then, yeah, so I think in Persona 4 Golden, the MC's parents were like moving abroad or something. So you had to live with your uncle with, with Dojima and Nanako. So yeah, I have a really good memory for this stuff. But um, yeah, because of that, you had to move to Inaba. So yeah, so in this case, they're using the incident in which you protected a woman. And then I guess, I guess blackmailed as well. And then forced to transfer here to the city. So, okay. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. Uh, maybe? <laughs> I mean, Persona protagonists ba barely have their uh, parents, uh, like, uh, name or faces ever revealed. So, yeah, un unless they play a role in this game, I doubt it, though. It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Yeah, but you had like what one cus no two customers in the last four hours for one cup of coffee no, for two cups of coffee, I mean, restaurant business really. <laughs> Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. All right, I'm on probation. Probation a whole year. Uh, let's learn more about probation. Really now. It's the word that applies to you. Elaborate, please. Your sentence lasts until next spring, right? That's why you're gonna be here for the coming year. Okay, so that's my timeline from now until, yeah, about a year actually from now. So like April to April. Cause any problems and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. No. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Shujin. Okay, that must be the school. <laughs> Going where? <laughs> I love it. It's like the, um, it's like the, like, an, it happens a lot in anime too, where they're like, 
We're going to Shujin. Shujin? Yeah, what about that guy? That guy? <laughs> it's like, I love it. For continuity's sake, it's like they, they repeat they repeat the line so that the other person can continue speaking, but it like it makes it look, look like a conversation. <laughs> so yeah, um, these are basically the same options though. So let's just go with what the hell Shujin is. Shujin Academy, the school you'll be attending. Yeah, got it. It's like Yaso In, no, not, not Yaso In, but Yasogami. Yeah. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. Yeah, we'll be like, hello, I have a criminal record. I saved a woman, and for some reason I'm in trouble. Uh, please take care of me. <laughs> There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? I mean. Damn. I mean, I, I guess in Japanese society, like being branded um, a criminal and maybe like ostracized almost, uh, kind of like everybody characterizes you as like this absolute deviant of an individual. But uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I live in Canada, so the culture might be different. What a waste of my Sunday. Okay, relax. You spent the last four hours, four hours talking with two boomers talking about how a car crash might, you know, put you out of business. <laughs> so, I mean, not like you were doing much with your Sunday. Your luggage arrived a little while ago. I brought it up here for you. That box? The, the fish box? It was very cute. That's all I have, though? Wow. I'll be living here starting today. I should check out what's in here. Okay. Oh my goodness, you can see the cobwebs. What are those, potatoes in the back? Okay. Oh wait, I didn't want to go down there. Crap, you need something? Um. Uh, nah, I'm good. I, 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 I want to look at my room again. Mm, if you want to chat, you better off finding something else. If you're really desperate for something to do, maybe you should go clean your room. Sorry, I don't have time to spare for you right now. Just head upstairs and keep to yourself. I mean, I need stuff to clean my room though, like, you know, like paper towels or rags or, you know, like a sink so I can wash stuff away, right? Yeah, but okay, messy table. It's a table covered in dust. If I draw a line in the dust with my finger, it'll probably be really easy to see. <laughs> this is a nice sofa though. This sofa is covered in dust. It looks like I can still use it, but I'll have to clean it first. Alright, cluttered work desk. It's a desk with a stack of books on top. No one can use this as a desk <laughs> while it's like this. What is that over it? Like, like a shower curtain? Like, over it? Yeah. Okay. And there's my bed. I like my bed question mark. There's a mattress here. Is this supposed to be my bed? What is it on? Is it on like buckets? I think those are buckets, like garbage bin, garbage bin buckets. <laughs> so it's just being hoisted up by that. Nice. I really do have a do-it-yourself uh, living arrangements. A shelf with old books. Some parts of these shelves have rust on them. Are these difficult looking books? We're carelessly crammed in here. Oh, all these difficult looking books were carelessly crammed in it. All right, junk littered floor. There are all these unused household items lying here. It's not organized at all. Yeah, it's like a ladder, what, trash, gasoline tanks, a bike, that might be useful. And it looks like a heater, so I can, I can definitely make use of that. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and my stuff, right? My, my cardboard box. It's the cardboard box sent from back home. It's full of clothes and daily necessities. I'll change into more comfortable clothes for now. Alright. I should start cleaning first. Start cleaning. Let's do it. Should probably not wear jeans too while I'm cleaning. Because you can't really bend well in jeans. <laughs> this comes from someone who hates wearing jeans. Sweat gang, rise up. So it's now evening. 
Ooh. Not bad. It's late. It seems like I've been cleaning for a while. What the heck? I heard you making all sorts of noise up here, but I didn't think you were cleaning. Yes, I'm very diligent. <laughs> Is he impressed? Actually, the place doesn't look too bad. See? I'm not that unruly. Though it's only natural you'd want to keep your room tidy. As does any. Why don't you go to bed for tonight? You don't have anything better to be doing, right? <laughs> yes. We need to reset the day so we can teach you more systems. <laughs> now I'm all for it. I'm going to close up shop and get out of here myself. I won't be the one looking after you if you get sick from staying up too late. You got that? Okay, Dad. How do advance time? Going to bed is a special action that will advance time. Time is limited. Think carefully about uh, about your schedule before you act. Okay. Can I sit on the sofa now? Yeah. I might be able to use this as a desk if I remove the books. Uh, what about this? It's the cardboard box sent from back home. I have some extra clothes and daily necessities inside. Uh, there are all these unused household items lying here. It's not organized at all. And shelf with old books. I might be able to use these shelves if I remove the books. Wait. Can I still go downstairs? Oh wait, what to say? I should call it a day and just go to sleep. Alright. Let's go to sleep then. Starting today, this is my room. Change and go to sleep. Okay, I think I will call the first episode over here. Um, we'll go to sleep. <laughs> and we'll start again on the second episode at this time. Yeah, I'm going to try to make these episodes around one hour. I'm still going to keep playing, but uh, I'll just put this in... Put everything after this in episode two so uh yeah thanks for watching i'm definitely gonna keep these videos uh going <laughs> not like last time where i went, hi went on hiatus for three years so yeah but other than that have a good day